So believe it or not, it is already time for the June market update. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because we're going to talk a little bit in summary of what these numbers actually mean. So first, let's look at days on market. Remember, days on market are simply how many days a home is actively listed for sale until it goes pending. That number at the end of June, just a day ago, was 26.1. That was basically the same number that we saw at the end of May, which is 25.9. So that number really hasn't moved month over month. If we compare the end of June 24 here with the end of June 23, we do see that that number has increased five to six days on market. It was 20.7 days on market in June of last year. Next, let's look at sold to original list price. Well, that number's pretty well stayed flat as well from May to June. That number was 98 and a half in at the end of May. It was 98.3 at the end of June. So what we're basically seeing is that homes are selling for around 98% of the original list price. So we're not seeing huge reductions uh, on the majority of homes. Uh, that are for sale here in Knoxville. And now let's look at the number of active listings we had at the end of June. So at the end of June 24, we had 1,094 active listings in Knox County. How does that compare to the end of May? Well, at the end of May, we had 1,004. So we gained about 90 listings active that were currently active from the end of May to the end of June. If we look back last year, year over year, that number of active listings was 778 when we were under one month's worth of inventory and with real huge inventory crunch. The next number that we want to consider uh, is related to the active listings and that's new listings that came on the market. So in June, in the month of June, we had 834 new properties listed. Now, how does that compare month over month? It actually went down because we had 904 properties listed during the month of May. Now, if we compare that, though, to last June, so year over year, there were only 755 homes listed in the month of June in 2023. So we, as I said earlier, are seeing some softening of this inventory shortage compared to last year when it was just extreme, but we're still in a situation where we do not have near enough uh, inventory for the buyer demand that's in the market. If we take those new listings and then we look at the active listings we just talked about, what you see is that we saw active listings actually go up, new listings going down. So what does that mean? Well, it has to mean that homes are sitting on the market just a little bit longer. The absorption rate is very simply if no new homes were listed beginning today, how many months would it take to sell everything that's available for sale? Well, at the end of June, that number was 1.84 months. So still under two, we would love to say that number around three. If we look at that at the end of May, we see that that number was 1.71. So we're seeing it grow from 1.71 up to 1.84. So we're seeing more homes on the market for a little bit longer. The concerning number for me is, is that we see new listings starting to drop again. That is not what we want to see. We want to see more homes hitting the market so that we continue to return ourselves to something that resembles normal in the real estate world. At the end of the day, we all care about pricing, right? In Knoxville, we just saw the median sales price of a home at the end of June increase to $395,000, approaching that $400,000 mark, which I think we're gonna see fairly soon. How does that compare just to last month? Well, that median sales price last month was $389,450. I say this, in, in all genuineness, if you don't have to wait to buy and you're looking to buy anywhere in this East Tennessee area, every day you wait costs you money. Every day you say, I'm going to rent, I'm going to stay here for six months, then I'm going to buy. You waste the rent money, you also lose that appreciation. So how do these numbers compare year over year? Well, that number at the end of June 23 was 374000 $900. What does that equate to? About a 5.3% increase in prices and appreciation 
year over year. Now, if you go back and watch some of these other videos that we've done, one of the things that I've said in those videos over and over and over is that I do believe that the days of 15 and 20% appreciation rates, even 10 plus, as long as rates don't go back down too much, uh, are over at least for a while. And that's really good for the market. What we're going to see in this nautical market is a return to the two to 5% appreciation rates that are more normal in a normal market. The market here in Knoxville, Tennessee at the end of June 24 is really solid. It's a unique market. It is definitely a market you need to be working with a real estate professionally and someone who knows the market, lives in the market, stays in the market. Ask your agent if you're working with someone other than us about these numbers. Make sure that they understand them. Make sure that they know them. That means they're keeping up with the market. And until next time, guys, I can't wait to see you around Knoxville really soon.